Hi, today is Lisa with Coping with Yarn, and this is Mental Health Monday, but on a Tuesday. Again, I know, I, I keep procrastinating, so maybe just expect it's always going to be on a Tuesday, and if it's on a Monday, it's a surprise! Anyways, whenever I do a video and I leave the door cracked open, Dexter always comes in. Why do you come in? Do you like attention? I think he likes attention. Anyways, um, okay, so I finally got caught up on my mood blanket. I did. I got into April, and uh, April is the linen stitch. Um, and so that's basically single crochet, a chain one, skip a uh, stitch, and then repeat. <laughs> so that's basically what that is. Oop. Do you want to see it? Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. You can call me blanket. No. Um, that down there, this is the linen stitch. And, okay, so this was March. All these uh, shell fans are March. And then this is the linen stitch. Okay, because, that'd be funny if that's the thumbnail, a blanket over my head. It, it probably will be. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. Oh, that's the beginning. No, I did show you the right way. I did show you this way. Okay, so this is the linen stitch. That's probably a better way of doing it instead of putting it over my head and playing peekaboo. So, yep. Now the April. Okay. Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a rough month. <laughs> oh, last month was in the beginning of this month of like dark purple is, it looks black, but it's really dark purple. Um, it's like anxiety, fear, uh, light green is angry. I was an angry elf. Um, just... This is sad and, or sick, or just not sick, but just not feeling up to par, you know? Uh, yeah, so how was everybody's Easter? Mine was, <clears throat> uh, Evan was supposed to be baptized on Sunday, and, um, he got the stomach flu on Friday. We even had family come in, so... Oh, we didn't get to see my sister and her kids and my brother-in-law. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of sad, but it's okay. We'll die eggs at a later date. We'll just do it probably this weekend. We'll probably die eggs or something. Anyways, um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so today I was going to talk about... The pro, the forbidden topic of suicide. Um, I mean, it's not really forbidden. People act like it sometimes. I think. Um, I think a lot of us, or some of us, have had suicidal ideations before, which means you have had suicidal thoughts and maybe, but not necessarily a plan. So, it is a myth that if you ask someone if they are feeling suicidal, that you'll put that thought in their head and they'll go kill themselves. That's not true. Um, actually, it's a good way to assess where they are at. Now, if it's just suicidal ideations, um, I encourage, or you can encourage them to go to uh, www.psychology today, that you can find a therapist. Um, that way you can, I mean, you can research like everything that you're dealing. Okay. So if it's depression or if it's, uh, you know, divorce issues, or you can pick your therapist as long as there's not a, in law, as long as they're taking, still taking patients or if there's a waiting list, but I encourage you just get on the list. Um, if there is, you can even see if they have, if they take your insurance, um, that's probably, they'll ask you anyways, when you call them up. They'll ask you what insurance you have. 
So you can look it up uh, if you want female, male, if you want a Christian, if you want, um, you know, someone who's Jewish or if you want, like, not affiliated with any religion or if you want, um, you know, someone who's spiritual and not whatever, you can pick it out. I mean, they have drop down menus that you can go in and pick out and all that. You can hand pick your therapist. Isn't that cool? Anyways, um... Okay, so if you're feeling uh, suicidal or if um, you are in a crisis or if you know someone that's suicidal, I encourage you to let them know or you know that uh, you can go, you can call 988 and that's just for the U.S. That's the new uh, suicide and crisis hotline is 988. You can even go to the website, um, and it will say frequently www.988lifeline.org. And, um, it will say like, what are the frequent, most frequently asked questions or what will happen? And these calls are confidential. Um, and I think a lot of people are afraid of that. Um, I mean, honestly, before I knew that, I would be afraid. Like, if I really was having problems, would everybody know? You know, like, I I have even, like, wondered about that. Like, oh, I wouldn't want anyone to know as me. Or, you know, especially being in the psychology field or whatever, you know. Um, but you know what? There's no shame in getting help. Um, and it's confidential. No one will know. And, I mean, if you need resources, if you just need someone to talk to, it's 24-7. Call them up. Let them know what's going on. If you know someone who is suicidal, um, well, actually, you know what? Just ask. If people will sometimes throw things out that will elude that they're thinking about it, like, I just can't do this anymore, dig. Dig. Ask questions. So, does that mean you're ending your life? Or or does that mean you're thinking about ending your life? Just ask it like that. Um, just oh, ask it. If they're like, no, just sometimes I think about it. Okay, well, let's get you to a, a therapist. Let's call the, your doctor. Have them. And it helps because sometimes when you're so depressed, you it's really hard to do simple tasks, like make a phone call. That can be very, very overwhelming. So, if you know someone, just come alongside them. Call the phone number for them. Put on speaker. Both of you can talk. You know, whatever. Um, so I just encourage... Okay, call your PCP. Look up, get a therapist. Um, if you think there's med management that needs to happen, then get a hold of a psychiatrist. The doctor, if you go to the doctor and if you let them know that you are feeling um, suicidal... Uh, and you're not doing well and you need help. And I have actually done this. Um, there was a time where I just, it was just scary. I just needed help. And I was really depressed. And I just went to the, I called them up and they got me in to an appointment. It was kind of lame because it took three days to get, <laughs> to get in. But I mean, it just depends on, uh, you know, your area get in, um, tell them what's going on, what your issues on are. And at least in Oregon, and it, it's probably everywhere else, at least nationally. Um, and if you're international, you know what, just look it up on the Google, uh, not this part, but you know how 988 is the number here for the National Suicide Hotline. Look it up, just Google it, um, in your country. Um, anyways, you're at the doctor's offer, office, let them out. They will actually bring someone in to, uh, into the room. And before I was like all paranoid and, oh my gosh, what are they going to think? Da, 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 da. You know what? I just, this time I just let them bring someone in that talked to me. And then they set me up with a therapist and a psychiatrist. And they're like, here you go. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> just come right in and. You know, they're very helpful. Um, 
Okay, so if it's an emergency, like they are in the middle of like they have a gun to the or whatever. I mean, if it's right in the moment, call 911. Let them know what's going on. Um, that's an emergency. Call 911. Um, if they're having suicidal thoughts, that's not 911. Um, that's when you come along and someone be with them for uh, 72 hours. Usually, um, after 72 hours, I mean, you, you have you ever heard of the 72 hour hold? That's when someone is a harm to themselves or others. Um, they can go into the psychiatric hospital or whatever it's called behavioral health. I don't know. Um, they can only put a hold, have to put a hold on you for 72 hours because 72 hours is usually how long of an intense emotion can last. So if it's a, a big giant, you know, tempting emotion to commit suicide, you can, uh, well, let someone know, um, you can even go to BHU yourself. Um, you can, uh, make sure that you let someone know what's going on. Don't leave them alone for 72 hours. Do not leave them alone. Ask them, um, if they have a plan and, uh, listen to what their plan is. If their plan is, uh, to take a bunch of pills, you know what? That person that's going to be with you needs to hide and lock up those pills and hide them whatever pills that they would think that they were thinking about taking or whatever. Um, if they're thinking about using a gun. Okay. If they have a gun in the house, hide, have the person take the gun and put it in a safe spot where they can lock it up and hide it away from you. Whatever the plan is, take action. It's like a safety plan to help ensure, um, that you'll be safe. Um, emotions do not last forever. Um, they're usually intense. Like I said, for 72 hours, at the most, usually. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid to ask. Just ask. If if people are alluding to like, hey, I'm not feeling quite safe. <laughs> um, or usually, well, or if they're like, I just can't do this anymore. Or uh, life is not worth it. Things like that, that should clue that something is big time is wrong and ask. Are you having suicidal thoughts? Um, do you have a plan? After that, yes or no, do you have a plan? If there's a plan, yeah, big time, do some safety planning. Um, do not leave them alone. And uh, yeah, whatever it takes. Okay, so that's my little rant about that. Um, ooh, can I, show, can I show you guys something I got in the mail today? Da -da 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 -da. It's crochet world. Oh my gosh. I was so happy about this month. I mean, there are a lot of cute uh, projects, but not only that, carrying crochet. So you know how I'm doing Annie's carrying crochet kit club? I saw um, one of the things in there, one of the projects that was like last year. And I thought that was so cool that it made it in. So here is just, there's a page that shows like all the little projects that you get um, the patterns for in here. So, okay, how funny. Now I don't see the one. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So look, it's the chemo caps. So that was actually featured in Annie's right there. Um, there's... Uh, the casa, which means not whole, I mean, it means whole in Spanish, but um, it's court appointed special advocate for kids. Um, there's a we got you blanket. And this is June's, by the way. They're kind of early, huh? Um, there's a beautiful baby girl blanket that I'm going to be making. And I'm right now I'm <sighs> trying to come up with my own pattern for a baby blanket for um well it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl but I'm making one for a boy because my cousin's pregnant I'm gonna make her one um let's see there was actually jewelry 
I was really pleased to see jewelry, like cute earrings and a necklace, and it had like wire stuff, and there's like a, this uh, string thing <laughs> that goes all the way down. Um, yeah, slippers. Okay, I thought this was so cute. For those of you that are on um, the laptop all day, I thought this was the cutest thing. My laptop doesn't have a mouse, so I just use the little thing in the middle. Look at that! Isn't that adorable? We do little doggies, and it's for your wrist, so you can use the mouse, and it's ergonomic, I think. I'm guessing. Okay, look at that beautiful baby blanket. I think it's so cute. Um, gosh, there's so much in here. Anyways, that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys have uh, a wonderful night. Um, be good. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so just a reminder, I'm doing a giveaway, and I'll be drawing the winner on, uh, and it's called the End of March Giveaway. I'm drawing a winner on Saturday, April 15th. Get your taxes in. Because I haven't done it yet. I said I was a procrastinator, right? Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys.